I'll tell you what, Conway is uh, quite a nice looking place, isn't it? It's loads of nice little castles and hilltops and beach. Is that actually a beach? I don't know if it is actually a beach. I know there's a train line that runs parallel. It'd be awesome to get a train there one day. And uh, yeah, there's quarry there, look, and it looks like it used to bring stuff through. There's quarry stuff here, it looks like it goes under the tunnel, under the bridge rather, up there. Yeah, it's like industrial, but also medieval. <laughs> it's weird. It's a really nice place. I do like Conway. Especially on a very nice summer's day. So, as I was saying earlier, um, it's 50-50 if they're going to take it or not. ETA is 10 to 4. By the time we get in, park out, park up, so we're going we're gonna to drive straight in. By the time we get out of the truck, find someone, it's going to be nearly 5 to 4. By the time we even get into the loading position, unstrap, take the net off, <laughs> I think it's going to be quarter past four. So, uh, we'll see. We're going to try. We're going to try our best. Now, it's an awkward one because it would benefit me to not get loaded, uh, get tipped. If I don't get tipped, I, I finish early today. I park up. Park up around the corner. I edit some videos and maybe even go to the cinema. <laughs> no, no joke. Uh, it benefits me to not get tipped. But that's not what I'm like. I will try to get tipped. I'm going to head there. I'm going to beg them to get tipped. And uh, if I do get tipped, then it's a good three-hour drive to our next delivery point where we're going to park outside the gate. So hopefully we're first in the morning. And uh, we'll probably be parking, uh, driving until 7, 8 o'clock at night. Then. So that's not in my best interest. But even so, I will try and get this tipped off tonight. That is the aim. Uh, I try and get ahead of ourselves. So the, the, the boss is on a two-week holiday. By boss, I mean the transport manager is on a, uh, the two-week holiday. He's the one who gives us the work, tells us what to do, where to go. He's the boss. The owner, his son, Kieran, if you're watching, <laughs> is running the show for the next two weeks. And apparently he's promised someone that uh, there's going to be a delivery made tomorrow. If I don't get this tipped off now today, this first load, Forget delivering tomorrow. We might not even collect tomorrow, mate. So yeah, there is there is a bit of an urgency to get this off today uh, for the company's sake. So like I said, it would benefit me to park up early, but it would benefit the company to not park up early to get this tipped and to head to the second di uh, second delivery point. And I'm a company man, believe it or not. <laughs> we used to have a colleague that worked for us. Uh, said I wasn't a company man so. but I am, I am a company man yeah, seriously if we don't get tipped tonight I'm going to try and park up around the corner it's right next to a McDonald's which, haha, ha, I'll park next to McDonald's no, no, the reason I want to park there is because there's a cine world there I alluded to it earlier I want to watch Top Gun the new one, so yeah, if I don't get tipped I know there's a cine world around the corner and I might try and park nearby and go and watch it, why not? We'll see what time it's on. I might, it might be too late, it might be too early, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see when we get there. But we're only two miles away now from where we need to be. Ooh, I can actually share some good news. Uh, getting a new truck, it's in the yard already. You will see it sooner or later. Don't drug drive. Obviously, people drug drive, but not something you normally see. Yeah, uh, new truck. It's in the yard, ready to go. Wow, well, I say ready to go. I'm going to be driving it at the start of the month, the next month. So, it'll be a few weeks yet before you see it, I think, in a video. But, there is a new truck on the horizon. Not brand new, brand new second hand. Oh. Uh, slightly less kilometres, slightly newer. It's got a TV, microwave, fridge in it. And... The thing that makes me giggle the most is it's got an air horn, or well, a pair of air horns, on the old cordy thing up here. So you go like that and blow it. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to uh, to showing you guys that truck. Okie dokie. I think we've just got to navigate a couple more roundabouts now and then we'll be there. Stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. 
Yeah, boy. Oh, no, they changed just as we passed. But yeah, I've been to this this one before. Uh, I was speaking to my colleague earlier, and he said they're not too bad. But actually, every time I've been here, they've been quite slow, to be honest. We'll see what happens. MKM building supplies. Let's drive straight in. Drive straight on in. Gates are open, so that's a good start. Don't see any trucks, so that's another good start. Well, I'm done doing any more deliveries anyway. I'm sure they're going to be in here. Ah, yeah, they got a truck there, look. Might have to go back a bit to allow vehicles through. Right, let's go find someone and see if they will tip us. See you in a bit. How's, how's it going, mate? Got to... Yeah, Malcourt. Yeah, just pull up here in a minute whenever you're ready. Yeah, just in the middle, yeah? yeah. It's only the back half. Oh, not... sorry. Yeah, not the whole lot. Sorry. Sorry, thank you. I'll pull up in the middle. Alright. They are going to tip us. That is good. Good for the company. I don't know where he wants me to park. He just said up in the middle when you're ready. So does he mean like this? I've got no idea if this is what he meant. Right, anyway. <laughs> there's uh Oh, hit in my head. There's uh there's no there's no top top gun tonight. <laughs> We're going to be heading straight to our second destination from here, from here. So it is going to be a slightly later finish tonight, but that is what it takes. So that is what we'll do. Anyway, I'm going to get this off. So uh, see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right. We are tipped. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get rid of this truck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nearly didn't start on me. All right, let's get out of here. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. Right, I, for a small second, I thought that wasn't going to start then, but it did. So we're good, we're good. Right, I need to put my seatbelt on before we fully get out of here. Lovely jubbly. Right, destination has already been put into the sat now. I did that while we were waiting to get in. And uh, ETA to our second drop. This car ain't gonna let me out, even though he's got to give way to me. Well, he ain't got to give way to me, but he's got vehicles on his side of the road. I Meaning they've got to go onto my side of the road. 
but then I've also got to give way, so... Difficult one. <laughs> yeah, ETA 2, our second delivery now is 7 o'clock. Something tells me they won't be there at 7 o'clock. <laughs> so, but we'll get there anyway. We'll park outside the gate, so we'll be first thing in the morning. First one in. I phoned them up earlier, and they said they take deliveries after 8 o'clock, so... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be parked up for 12 hours at least <laughs> before we even uh, get up, I think. We'll see. I'll, uh, yeah, I know I'll probably be up for seven and push my luck and see if I can get, see if I can get in early. That's what, probably what we are going to do. Never mind. Anyway, we got some lovely, gorgeous scenery coming up because we're going for like basically through Snowdonia to get there. So uh, we are going to have some awesome views momentarily we can definitely go left in this lane let's get around this corner then we're going to go right we're going to keep keep gliding keep gliding keep the momentum there we go so yeah we just delivered uh i think it was 23 volt bags or 22 volt bags and three pallets now we've got 25 volt bags of topsoil for uh LBS building supply in I think it's Lenesi. I don't think it is Lenesi. Have a wish with. <laughs> That's where we're going. Right anyway, see you in a bit. Okay, it is now seven o'clock at night. I say night, it's still daylight. <laughs> but it's seven o'clock in the evening. We're a couple of minutes away, give or take. Uh give or take a minute or two. From our parking space for the evening. We're going to be parking pretty much outside our destination for tomorrow. So uh, we'll be first in, hopefully, fingers crossed. What we're doing tomorrow after, we're not actually sure now. We were planned to do a Lydney, as I said, but there might be a Birmingham to do from, uh, well, from one of the Commonwealth Games areas, locations, to bring back to Swindon. But it's between me and another driver as to who can get to Lydney first. So, if I tip nice and early, like eight o'clock, I think it's good, I think it's about three hours to get there, I think, might be, yeah. Uh, say, I, say I'm tipped by half past eight, which is really good going. I'll be like half past 11. So, yeah, I reckon I'll be there around 11-ish. Whereas um, the other driver's in Chester, if he can be tipped by eight, then you might be able to get there before me. So, we'll just see. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Du -du -du. Right, half a mile to go. There's some lovely roads coming down, down here. I was going to vlog it, but I'm just... Coming off the whole time-lapse thing. Too many people are doing time-lapses. So, uh... And also, a lot of you said you prefer the commentary, so I'd rather just drive with a bit of commentary. Now, I have been here before. I've delivered here once before. I'm not sure if it was flashing me or whether that's just the bumps in the road. But, um... I seem to recall there being a sign saying there's something about gates, but I might be wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong, anyway. Hopefully I am wrong. Right, we want to go left here. Industrial estates. Doesn't matter if there is gates anyway, because we are staying on site, so. I don't think there were. I think I'm thinking of, I think I'm thinking of a different place, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully there's no sign saying don't stop. Uh, yeah, all good. All good, all good, all good. In the hood. Window down to concentrate. <laughs> uh, might be able to park up there if we have to. We're parking behind here somewhere. It's one of these buildings. It does look quite busy.
bum, bum. Seven o'clock at night, so it should be quiet. There's no lines on the roads, look. No trucks are here. Oh, there's one part there, look. And, uh, yeah, LBS is on the right, look. So, where are we parking? Trailer's been dropped there. Don't want to block the trailer in. Yeah, let's park on this side of the road. Right opposite. I'm actually going to just try to think. We've got none of their own trucks in. It looks like it's going to be a reverse in off the road jobby. So on that basis, we're actually going to park this side. So it looks like a reverse in job. Do you know what? No, we're not. <laughs> Got to stay with the flow of traffic, haven't you? So we're going to park on the left. Going to park on the left side. I could spin round and face that way, which I do what kind of want to do. Don't know why. I always like spinning around and facing my way out. But the problem with that is then, to reverse it, I'd have to do a blindside reverse. So we'll just park up facing this way. Okay, we'll just park up like that. Straight backwards there. Lovely jubbly. This is just for the evening. This is just for the evening. Right, let's turn neutral engine off. I've got to do some paperwork. Right, so I'm going to do some paperwork, then I'm going to take my card out and I'm going to relax for the evening. I will see you in the morning. One out, one in. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Right, so we are tipped. First thing in the morning. We actually got this in about half past seven. It's now about five to eight. So we're just gonna pull out aside, because we need to make a phone call to Kieran, find out, oh my pillow's going, find out uh, which run we're doing. Because it could be Lydney, it could be Birmingham, we're not sure. One or the other. Let's get out of here first, let them get in. Hazards on, thank you for what, stopping for me. Yeah, much appreciated. Right, let's make a phone call. I'm right. Yes, you alright? Yeah, I'm What's going on? I am tipped. Across to Birmingham. Yeah, do, do you know which one I'm going to? No, I'm going to phone Simon now and I'll let you know. Yeah, all right, yeah, I'll just head towards Birmingham. I'll let you know. Yeah, all right, mate, we'll do. Thanks, mate. All right, bye bye, mate. Right, we're heading towards Birmingham. I'll just drive it in. You want to have a chat with me? Or? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Greg's around the corner, isn't there? I remember seeing it on the way in. There's a Greg's just here. Yeah, there it is. That's what that driver's doing. I know it was, it was rather presumptuous to assume he wanted to speak to me, but I had nothing to do with like YouTube or being recognised or anything like that. It's just I thought he wanted to speak to me as a driver because I'd parked up there or something. Maybe I was in his way. I don't know. Anyway, we're off. We're off, and we're heading to Birmingham, which is good for me actually because that means. Oh, I'm gonna be home tonight, fingers crossed. So happy days, happy days, happy happy days. Anyway, let's get crack a lack in. Might have some good roads on the way, I'm not sure. We'll see. See you in a bit. Right, we are in Birmingham. BT Tower look. We are in Birmingham. We're about three miles away from where we need to be. But uh oh, it gets a bit narrow there on that corner. I thought I'll uh, start vlogging now. Got 
car right on my outside as I'm going around the bend, which is typical. Lovely jubbly. So yeah, uh, where we are collecting, I have been before. Uh, it was actually in one of the recent vlogs I've uploaded. Maybe two videos back, I think. Um, so yeah, we're picking up from the same place. Hopefully we're not parked in the same location because we were right on a bend as the road narrows and no one could get past. Well, no other large vehicles could get past anyway. <laughs> I kept getting asked to move. I was like, I'm, I'm offloading, mate. What do I want to do? So hopefully they've positioned everything I'm picking up somewhere else on a straight bit of road where other vehicles can pass. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. It's not the end of the world if they haven't. We'll, uh, we'll still get loaded. Uh, they have just phoned me, uh, asking how long I'm going to be. Not because they're desperate for me to get there, but because they, because they want to go get some lunch or something, have some dinner or go get something to eat. I was like, well, I'm 30 minutes away. He goes, oh, yeah, we'll wait here then. So, <laughs> I think if I was like an hour away, they would have gone, gone to get something to eat. Uh, and I got uh, four pods going on in total. Uh, two, two double ones, what I call double ones, and I was uh, double strapped. So there's four straps and then two disabled, which I think are single straps. So six straps in total is all we would need. So it shouldn't take long to strap up. And then, uh, yeah, take it all the way back to Swindon. Hopefully be in Swindon. Well, we're going to be there. We're going to be here for 11 o'clock. I would imagine we're here out of here by quarter 12. Can't see us being there longer than 45 minutes at all. So, so we'll say 12 to be safe, an hour. Two, two hours to Swindon, so we should be in Swindon for about two o'clock. I think. Tip that over to Tetbury for three o'clock and then potentially back in the yard for four o'clock. Lovely. Go home early today by the looks of it. Now I've said that, it's probably not going to happen. Ba, ba, ba. Might, ooh, you might get a sneak peek of my new truck. I'm not going to show, deliberately show you, but as we go into the yard, you might see it. Yeah, might. We'll see. We will see. Right. We're in this lane because we need to turn right at some point. And I'm not sure which right we need to go at. It's not this one. Also, the lane on the left goes left only, so... Notice how I'm leaving a space here for the crossing. Just in case. Um, there were people waiting to cross. But I could see the traffic lights up ahead turn green, so that's why I started moving. But yeah, I was in the right lane. Like, the left lane goes left only, so... For a split second, I was like, should I budge over? Then I realised I was in the correct lane. Right, now we want to turn right, so we want to start indicating right. Just to get in this lane, because I'm not sure if both these lanes turn right or not. I've got a funny feeling only this lane does. Yeah, look, where that Enterprise... But the Enterprise is it's a bit narrow here. Can we make it? Yeah. Give away to oncoming vehicles. We can go after the van. There's a cyclist coming down, but no, no, cyclist going up. Okay. Not surprised that car's got his wing mirrors in. bit narrow up here in it only a mile away i found uh with most of the commonwealth games the locations they're not in like industrial areas they're in housing estates um the one I, I picked up from one the other day in a housing estate this one's at a college or a university or something which, which is again next to a housing estate so you end up going down a lot of these roads with cars parked down either side but they're quite wide roads to be fair so not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Although I just realised it's 20 down here, not 30. So we better slow down. Your speed is 20, mile, well, 19 mile an hour. Yeah, baby. Let that lorry come through.
Lovely jubbly. Right. I remember coming out of here, last time I come out, I had to take a really naughty right hand turn. I don't think I was going to make it, so I've got to be careful I don't go out the same way I did last time, because <laughs> I very nearly didn't make the right turn. It was so narrow, without going over a kerb and running over one of these side, keep left signs, do you know what I mean? I'll do some research later, find out which way to go out. We are turning left in 500 yards, but it's not this left. So we will stay in the right-hand side lane. Okie dokie. Let's turn some beacons on. Turning left in here. Hello, mate. Your yeah. Uh, you here for collection? Yeah, collection PTL, Simon. Simon? Yeah. Uh, have you got his number? Yeah. Alright, uh, so park up on the left hand side, yeah? Yeah. Give him a call, let him know you're here, and as soon as I get the call to send you down, I'll send you down, yeah? Lovely, alright, mate. A bit of a tight left hand turn that was trailer was start sort of in the road a little bit I wanted to uh, budge over a bit more right, yeah you're right mate I'm here now they just told me to park up on the left and wait for you yeah I'll just drive down mate then yeah all right mate, mate <laughs> security have asked me to stop here on the left and they'd tell me when to go down. <laughs> and they've told me to ignore the security and just go straight down. So I'm going straight down. Let's go straight down. Last time we were waiting here for ages. This time we're going to be in and out by the looks of it. It was also much busier last time I was here. Oh, that's a bit narrow. I ain't making it past that van up in front. Can we get past this one just? Just flash that van to move. Hi, Viz. Where do I put it up here? Let's put me Hi, Viz on while we're waiting. Yeah, it wasn't this busy. I mean, it was busy last time with moving traffic, but there's more parked vehicles now. There's my guy there in the orange. Yeah, we're going to be parked on the same corner by the looks of it. Lovely. Right. Can you tell me when to stop? Just there. Right, I'm going to go on out and start loading up. See you in a bit. Right, we're tipped. Not tipped, loaded rather. Someone has touched my wing mirror. Let's try and get out of here. Hello, Tom Tom.
Friday Road Swindon. It is a bit snug. We've got bushes on the right. Clear the bushes on the right. Now we've got more bushes. The truck's going, but I still don't want to scratch it. Oh, I think we're in the clear. Lovely. A bit toasty. See you later, guys. Let's get on out of here. I'm still not 100% sure on the way out, but I've got nowhere to stop at the moment. I've got traffic behind me as well. Turn the hazards off. Someone's put that pallet there and I'm going to skim it with my wheels. We got a little bit more on than I thought. I thought it was going to be like just two tanks and two pods. Or two tanks, a pod and two disabled or something. We've actually got two disabled, four tanks and some IBCs as well. So uh, empty IBCs. So we have used a few straps. Each of the tanks, we've got two straps each, so that's eight. And then two disabled, so that's 10. And then we've got two on the IBCs, so that's 12. And then we use the final one on the back to go diagonally across. So we have used 13 straps. Not quite the six I had in mind. <laughs> but uh, it's all right, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Out of Birmingham we go. Some of these trees are quite low hanging. This was not the right I was referring to. There is a chance I'm thinking of another right turn I did in, in another place in Birmingham. Because there's so many Commonwealth games, like locations. There's like, I've been to about four I think, maybe five. Because obviously it's not all in just one place. There is a small chance that I am thinking of another location. <clears throat> We've got a couple more roundabouts to negotiate and then there's another right-hand turn. If it isn't that right-hand turn, then uh, I think we're in the clear. That doesn't look like tennis, that looks like hockey or football or some sort. Time it, 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 time it. We're through. Good to time it onto roundabouts, keep my momentum going, but I'll be honest with you, sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's so good <laughs> that cars think you're not stopping and then and then they slow down and then you have to stop. So you kind of gotta judge it in case they stop as well. Yeah, we've got a right turn coming up. This is not the right turn that I was referring to, so it must have been in the other place that I'm thinking of in my head. I think uh I think Alina went as well, truck Alina. Those of you who might follow her. Yeah, this is the last right-hand turn. So yeah, no, unfortunately, no, no tight right-hand turn. Would have been good to get it on video, but never mind. Anyway, let's go to Swindon. I'll see you when we get there. Right, we have just rocked up at PTL now to get tipped. So, uh, yeah, you've seen it all before, so I've decided not to film on the way in. Engine off, let's go and uh, get this off. Right, we are tipped and we are good to go. Phone can go there.
Lovely jubbly. Seatbelt on. Where is he taking that one? Is he going behind me or? Nope. Oh, we're running out of room down here. Lovely jubbly, right, so we're just going to go back now so we can get out. <laughs> See you later, mate. Right, we're good to go. We've got tippers that come in and out of here as well, so we've got to be careful. Nothing's coming down the lane. We're good. Turn those hazards off. Right, so we are now heading to Tetbury to get loaded. And then tomorrow I am going to Ripley and Alton. That is the plan for tomorrow. But that will be a different vlog. That will be a different vlog so that is going to be it for today's video thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it uh yeah hopefully i think that's the last of the commonwealth games we're going to so uh hopefully we won't have to go to that one again until next year be a little bit tight and uh yeah lovely roads down in north wales as well or up in north wales so yeah thanks for watching do appreciate it until next time Drive safe, stay safe, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.